it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the Epson Print Manager on your PC when you are printing to your F570. So this is a question that I get a lot about why can't I get to the print manager? Why are my colors off? Your colors are off because you're not using the print manager, but the print manager is kind of hidden a little bit with the PC. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that, especially when you are coming directly from Silhouette Studio, although the print manager should be the same no matter what software you are using. So let's hop over there and we will go from there. Okay, so here we are in Silhouette Studio and let's just say I wanna print this design to my F570. So. Um, what I'm going to do, assuming that we already have the page set up and everything, which let's do that real quickly. So you, just so you know. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to file print page setup. Okay. So that is going to allow you to pick um, the size that you are going to use. So in this case, if we have, okay, let's just say we're printing on a piece, piece of eight and a half by 14 inch sublimation paper. Okay. So we also have our source as the roll paper. We're not going to use that. We're going to use the uh, sheet. All right. So we'll pick auto sheet. All right. And then we'll click. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the page setup here in silhouette studio. We are going to tell it that we are not using a cutter. Okay. And we are also not using a cutting mat, which is obviously auto. And then the media size, you want to change that to printer. So that now is going to match what we just selected. So in this case, we need to make our design a little bit smaller. Uh, so we'll do that there. Okay. Now you are ready to print. Okay. So you're going to go to file again, and this time you're going to click print. So this print box is going to open up. You can see I have a couple of different printers here. Um, I'm selected on the 500 series, which is the F570. I am right now I'm connected um, by Bluetooth not not the or we're on the same network right i'm not connected by usb i will tell you that if you end up um, with problems with spooling specifically plug in your usb and that should help okay so once you're here then you don't want to click just print okay you are not in the print manager yet this is just the silhouette studio uh print preferences page now you're going to go to preferences and this is the box that is going to open up now you have to make sure that you have all your epson drivers um selected okay so once you i mean downloaded and installed otherwise you won't have these options okay so paper size is what we already um selected okay we did that in that first setting then we're going to use it's going to ask us the media type we're just using um this is basically where you are picking the color profile. So if we are going to allow the printer to just pick what it wants, you are not going to get the best possible colors. You need to decide, are you using, are you going to sublimate onto a textile, like a garment, a hat, a towel, something that is, you know, fabric based, or are you going to sublimate onto something that's rigid, like a tumbler or coasters or um, some type of photo board. Okay. So let's just say textile. All right. And now it is going to give us some additional information. We are keeping this on standard. And that is what I would highly suggest that you do. If you uncheck this box and go, you know, all rogue here, um, and, or pick any of these other ones, this is where the colors get off. Now, if you keep it on simple, you do have the option to click print high quality. I will tell you though, if you uncheck simple, simple and stay on standard, but then go down here to quality and pick max quality and high speed, you will not get max quality. Max quality is literally without high speed. Okay. Let it go. You don't, you, you're emphasizing either speed or quality. If you want both then fine check it but to get the absolute best quality print no matter how long it takes you want to be on max quality and not check high speed okay all right then you have this option here just check it out and see what it is okay again i would re highly recommend that you not change anything here okay just leave it alone actually it's asking you here epson standard that's again just leave it alone this is what this is as long as you're on standard as long as you have picked this here textile you're good to go okay now you have the option 
uh, for layout. And don't miss these tabs. This is often what happens. People miss these tabs. This is where you're going to tell it if you're going to mirror the image. If you've already mirrored the image in Silhouette Studio, you don't need to, to do that, okay? And go to advanced. Again, normal cut. Or do you want it not to cut after your page has been, um, is done printing? If you want, in this case, because of the way our design is, the cut is going to be down here. If you want to save the paper, this is if you were using a roll and you wanted it to cut right here, you would check that box for save uh, roll paper. All right. And then you have the utility. Again, this is where if you need to do nozzle check, head cleaning, anything like that, this is where it's going to be. So once you have all of your settings set up, then you can click OK and then you can click um, apply and then you can click print and then it will print. So again, the biggest issue that I see with people is that A, they don't have the Epson print manager fully installed and B, they are just going to file print and printing. That is not printing through the print manager. So you do want to make sure that you click that preferences and then you get into the print manager and go through all those tabs and all those settings. Again, the very most important is to pick whether you're doing textile or rigid and kind of just stay in that stay in that area. Don't go picking the sRGB. Don't, all of that stuff will end up affecting the colors in the end and really just let the print manager do what it's doing. Now, if you have a Mac and you're wondering how to do this on a Mac, again, it's similar, although not exactly the same. The print manager looks a little bit different, so I have another tutorial on how to do that. If you have the Epson F170, which is the smaller um, Epson sublimation printer, you don't have nearly the um, settings that you do for the 570. So if you're wondering why am I missing some, that's because of the printer you have. The print manager is very different. And again, you don't have as many settings with that, not even as um, basic as the speed versus quality that we talked about, okay? All right, you guys, if you're interested in more uh, sublimation tutorials on the F570, 170 Sawgrass printers, um, I have a whole bunch. I'll link to those as well. And if you're interested on in one-on-one -on -one help with your sublimation business, sublimation crafting, um, be sure to check out Silhouette U. You can get a little bit of a discount off your first month if you join using uh, the code YouTube.